What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're just doing a good old fashioned Q&A. You're probably wondering, why are you in the kitchen? Honestly, because I just moved in and I can film pretty much anywhere right now, so I'm just kind of trying different places out, so let me know what you think. So like I said, we are just doing a good old fashioned Q&A. I asked you guys on Instagram two hours ago to leave any questions you guys have, and there were over 300 comments. So obviously I can't get to everybody answering the questions that you guys seem to want me to answer the most. So the first question is actually coming from another YouTube someone that I consider a very good friend. His name is Eric the Electric. He said, thoughts on the 10K calorie challenges and the people that do them. If you're not familiar, on YouTube there's a huge thing where people do 10,000 calorie challenges. So what that basically means is they eat 10,000 calories in a day and it's like this challenge video and it's supposed to be a lot of fun and a lot of people wa like watching them. And if you've noticed, obviously I've never done that on the channel. Now there is a very specific reason why I've decided to not do them because I think that, I honestly think that I could do it. I think it wouldn't be an issue. Obviously I got to where I was 360 pounds for a reason, but the reason that I've kind of decided not to is because I have this big platform and I don't think that it's healthy or smart for me, someone that's lost a lot of weight, to do the challenge. I just don't think that it puts a good message out there. Now, I don't think there's anything wrong with it and I mean I have tons of friends that do them and like I said, I don't have any problems with them but I think with you know the, ch the channel that I have and the audience that I have, I don't think that it's smart and I honestly think it's kind of detrimental for me to show that on my channel. So I've just decided to you know kind of stay away from it and honestly <laughs> I don't really want to do it that bad anyways because of how bad you feel like the few days afterwards so I just kind of stay steer clear from them. Again, I have nothing against people that do do them. What would you say to someone who has lost a lot of weight and is trying to bulk for the first time? I would say make sure that you are at a low enough body fat to where it makes sense to want to bulk. Because if you're not familiar, bulking is basically putting on weight purposely to try and gain muscle. So make sure that you've hit those numbers where you, you know, you're low enough to where it makes sense to bulk. Because if you bulk too early, you're going to bulk for maybe two months and you're going to decide, I need to cut again because I haven't lost enough weight. So make sure you're, you're low enough. But my biggest tip just people that have lost a lot of weight and they're trying to bulk is just make sure you're doing everything deliberately and you're not just kind of YOLOing and just doing whatever you want because that will just lead to you gaining too much weight too fast and then you'll want to cut and if you're only bulking for a month or two at a time you're really not going to be making that much progress so first off make sure you're at a low enough body fat percentage to where it makes sense to bulk and then when you do decide to bulk it sounds sucky and it's not that fun but if you are bulking it's not about just eating everything in the world and just not caring like you should still, I think for a lot of people, you should still be tracking and making sure that you're not going crazy on your calories. You know, you can have days every once in a while where you kind of have a little bit more fun with friends because you're not trying to lose that weight. Make sure you're still tracking a little bit so you're not gaining weight too fast because I promise you, if you gain weight too fast, you're gonna wanna cut it off anyways. So just make sure that you're being deliberate with every action that you're taking. Will you ever get loose skin surgery? Now, let's just be real. This is obviously always, pretty much always, the most asked question whenever I do a Q&A. People are just curious as to why I haven't got it, and I understand why that is, because I feel like a lot of people see people lose a lot of weight, especially like on The Biggest Loser and all of these shows, and their transformation doesn't end until they've gotten that loose skin surgery. So I understand why people see me and they feel like, I haven't completed my transformation. For some people, they honestly like get upset. I've had a lot of people that that accuse me of using my loose skin to get views and using all of this like to, you know, to further my career. And I mean, I, I again, like I kind of see where they're coming from. And so I'm not going to say like that's absolutely ridiculous. Like, yes, I put my loose skin in my thumbnails when I'm talking about it because I want people that are curious about loose skin to find those videos, 100%. And if that makes me a bad person, then I'm sorry. But honestly, for me, right now in my life, I don't know if I will ever get the loose skin surgery. I can say that within the next few years, I don't at all see it making sense for me because of the recovery and the cost and everything that kind of goes into it. And yes, I know, I've, I've been offered to get the loose skin, skin, skin surgery for free. I understand that. Right now, obviously, those offers aren't on the table anymore. Uh, so if I did want to get it, I would have to pay for it. And you know, maybe it's my fault for letting those go by. But at the time, I wasn't ready. So I don't think that it matters how much money someone was going to give me. If I wasn't ready for the surgery, I don't think I should have taken it. And I was not. And I still am not ready. Um, so for me, I just don't. I don't want to go through that pain, honestly, for something that I'm not 100% wanting to do. And I feel like if the only reason I would get surgery right now, or even in the near future, would be for you guys to for you guys 
guys to see and you guys to see the the transformation and to see the, the whole pro process of everything, right? And I don't think that's right for me to do something not that I 100% want to do and I'm just doing it because I want to film that. That doesn't seem genuine to me and it's not something that I want to do. Will I get it when I'm 35, 40 years old, when I'm like completely gone from like the weight loss happened so many years ago and, and I'm ready to kind of move on? Maybe, like honestly, maybe I would do that. But again, like I said, I don't know. That's in so many years, 10 plus years. So I can say right now that I am, I'm not, I don't have any plans. There's no like behind the scenes of me trying to get the surgery. I'm just living my life and I'm loving what I'm doing. So if that makes anyone upset, I apologize, but that is just true. And that is, you know, that's what I'm doing. Did you ever become overly controlled by the number on the scale? Like if you weighed yourself in the morning and it was more than you expected, did it affect your mood for the day? That is an awesome question. I definitely know that there's a lot of people that are losing weight that are probably struggling with that right now. And I can say for me, I actually struggle with that the most when I was pretty much at my leanest when I was getting ready for my men's physique show. The reason being is because I was so hyper focused and like honestly, I was actually having a conversation with a couple friends about this. The number on the scale and how I looked in the mirror pretty much dictated how I was gonna feel throughout the day. It, it was literally everything to me. And this is when I was leaner than I am now. It was when I was the leanest of my entire life, but because of everything that I cared about, and it felt like if it, being successful and not successful, all that mattered was that number on the scale. So if it was doing good, then I was being successful. If it was doing bad, then I wasn't being successful. And that, that is not a healthy way to use a scale. I think that the scale is a great tool and it can help so many people and it can be super helpful, but you can't tie your self-worth, you can't tie how well you're doing in life to the number on the scale. It just has to be a number that you're using to gather information to further your weight loss. My girl, Jordan Shrinks, who's actually lost a lot of weight as well, she does a lot of running, so this question makes a lot of sense coming from her. Would you train for a marathon? I have definitely thought about doing a half marathon and a marathon. I will say this though, I recently went on my first ever 5K run. Now, I didn't train for it or anything like that, I just showed up to, my, to the gym and my friends were like, hey, we're gonna go run a 5K, and I was just like, all right, I'll do it too, why not? And so that was literally, that's the longest I've ever ran. And it was, <laughs> if you're a runner, I apologize, but it was terrible. Like I, my lower back was hurting. I definitely don't have the best form when I'm running. So that was actually really hard. And it kind of humbled me because I thought like I would be able to maybe just go into a half marathon and not really train that much and just kind of get through it. But honestly, like after doing that 5K, I, I realized that I would have to actually train for a marathon and for a half marathon. So it's definitely something that's been on my mind. It's something, I have a lot of goals when it comes to just fitness in general. It's something I would like to do. Do I see myself doing it in the near future? Not really, especially after how terrible that 5k felt, but it's something that I do definitely kind of plan on doing in the future, future, future. <laughs> Who has the best french fries? Now this is a super lame answer, but honestly, McDonald's has always been my favorite, just regular french fries in the world. <laughs> Why are you still single? You're a very handsome guy with an awesome personality and I'm sure anyone would do anything to be with you. Wow, thank you very much. Let's get into that. Now, believe it or not, this was actually one of the other most asked questions on that post. Now, I'm just gonna be completely real with you guys. It's been a year since I was in a relationship. And now, one of the main things that kind of got in the way, not got in the way, but that was, it was a huge hurdle to get over in that relationship was actually pretty much what I do for a living because it, I, at least this is what I found out. I think that it takes a really strong person, someone that's really sure of themselves, to be in a relationship with somebody that kind of does what I do, and I'm not at all trying to toot my own horn, and like, that, that's not what this is about at all. But this is just, I'm just trying to be as real with you guys as possible. So what I found out is that it just takes someone that's really sure of themselves and really strong, because I'll, I'll, I'll put pictures out there, I'll put posts out there, and there'll be a bunch of, of girls that'll say like, oh my gosh, you're so, you're so good looking, you're so attractive, like I wish I could be with you and stuff like this. And again, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to toot my own horn at all. But being in a relationship with somebody that, that has that happening, the person, you know, the girl that I would be with would have to be kind of like really strong and, and would, would ha just basically have to be really sure of herself and not let that thing, those things affect her. And that was one of the biggest issues that I had in my last relationship. My only relationship was that. Now I'm not saying, like I absolutely love my job and I love what I do and so that's, for me, I don't have an issue with it. Like I deal, I deal with it the way that I deal with. And and for me, it's kind of it's one of those things that I've chosen this life. I've chosen to do this for a living. I've chosen like this is what I do. So there maybe there's some consequences, and maybe finding that right person for me is going to be a little bit more difficult. But I do believe that once I do find that person and, and really kind of let them know what's going on and if they can handle it, like I feel like that relationship, like my next relationship, I feel like is just going to be a really strong one 
because I've decided to wait and not just kind of just pick whoever the first person that come kind of comes to mind I don't know it's kind of a weird thing for me to talk about and I hope it doesn't sound like it at all like I'm trying to make myself seem a lot cooler like I have a bunch of people all trying to get all over me it's nothing like that that's not what I'm trying to do but I'm just that's literally probably the biggest hurdle that I've dealt with so I'm trying to be as honest with you guys so that's honestly one of the main reasons why <sighs> I hope that makes sense <laughs> How do you stop yourself from getting a donut or any other forbidden food? Honestly, I just don't stop myself from having certain foods. I don't believe in labeling foods like that, like forbidden foods, because when you label a food like a forbidden food, it becomes so much more enticing. And then when you end up maybe caving and having a donut and you told yourself, I can never eat those foods, you end up just going overboard, right? Like I used to do that and I would be like, I can never have this type of food. And then I would eat it and I would feel like I failed anyway, so might as well eat a bunch of it. So if you let yourself have it, every once in a while and don't put these labels on it, you're not as afraid to eat it. Eat one donut and then you're like, okay, I had the donut, I don't need to have a million. <laughs> Finger-sized legs or leg-sized fingers? <laughs> when I first read that question, I literally thought of, you guys remember the movie Spy Kids and they had like the thumbs? I thought of those just with little tiny, tiny legs just like running around. Did it ever happen to you when you started succeeding and actually changing your life for the best, people were jealous or suddenly they changed their attitude towards you? I will say that the overwhelming majority of people have been incredibly excited about you know the lifestyle change that I had especially the people that were really 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 close to me they were obviously scared for me because they they thought that I was gonna die super early and they thought that I was this, the weight was going to kill me literally so obviously the people that are super close to me have been only supportive when it comes to that but there have have been a couple instances of people that I was like pretty close to maybe not relatives or anything like that but actually like it was weird. Like I had a, I had one incident where someone that I was really close to actually ended up. Now I think that they were kind of drinking or maybe under the influence, but they actually like messaged me and they, because they knew where I lived and they, they had actually messaged me and said, "Hey, I'm gonna come to your house and I'm gonna find you and I'm gonna fight you." And that was that was really weird because it, it really seemed like they were just. I mean, again, like I said, they were probably under the influence of some stuff, but it almost seemed like they were just like upset at me for you know being for changing and being different but I mean I believe like I, I've said this in videos before when I lost my weight I was 20 years old so obviously within the four to almost five years now that that's happened I've had a lot of life anyways so even if I didn't lose any weight over that period of time I feel like I would have changed anyways because that's a huge time of you know you changing as a person it's never anyone that I was really really close to it's those people that I was just kind of new or maybe I was acquaintances with when I was overweight and now they have their own perceptions of me now that I've lost the weight and kind of changed my entire life Wow, all right, so I just realized how long I have been recording. That is way too long, so hopefully I'm able to edit this down into a video that people will actually want to watch. But I just want to say, seriously, thank you guys so much for, for watching the video and just being interested enough to even leave a question because it really it just really does mean a lot to me. And I, I genuinely love answering questions that you guys have, so I love doing Q&As. But again, I want to say thank you so much for literally everything. Like, everything in my life is because of you guys, so I'm just so thankful for you guys, like honestly, okay, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop. So thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh yeah, look how buff I am. Uh. Wow, that is a lot of sweat. That's kind of gross, okay. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop. <laughs>